Yo, what's up? This is Ray from Loud Town, aka Just Loud, aka Ray Masaki, aka. Look at that Batman. Um. Um. So with my last video, I got a pretty, pretty positive response about it, and it was a design that I did entirely with pen tool and illustrator pretty much and people wanted to know my process so let me give that shit to you bitch all right so this is the design that i'm working on now it's fucking crazy i don't really know what's going on like this this dude's mouth is this guy's eye and he has lips for eyes but for the sake of brevity i'm not gonna do that one, <laughs> and instead it's gonna be this dude. Um, uh, if you want to know my entire process, I usually sketch things out on paper first. Like this one was on paper, and then and then I scan it in. But I just drew this 30 seconds ago in 30 seconds, and it was using a tablet or whatever. But normally, how I start off, I don't like things black because it gets confusing so not that they look like anything wrong with being black but I'll colorize this shit I like blue you can choose whatever color you want you know it's up to you all right and save it Big hat, or small hat boy. Then you go into Illustrator. File place. <laughs> Master Paint. That was for another project, so I don't think I'm sketchy or whatever. So yeah, so um, I guess I'll teach you how to use the pen tool because that's probably the most important tool in Illustrator and Photoshop. Like fuck the magic wand tool and polygonal lasso tool and your mom's fat tool. The pen tool is the ultimate tool. So what I'm doing, I, I lock the layer and dim images to 50% make a layer on top and that's going to be my working layer and go over to the pen tool and I'll explain my process as I go so what I first do and obviously this might not be the best process for everyone but it's just how I do things but basically what I do is first I go through and make a silhouette of everything using the pen tool basically what the pen tool is is, is uh, making selections through Bezier curves and the way that works is you make a point and then you choose your next point and then you you pull it outward so that it creates a curve and basically the farther you pull it out the farther your curves, curves go and each curve is interconnected so the next one will wow I'm pointing at the screen as if you can see me but um, the next curve will go down like this assuming that the curve follows this entire path. So if I put it right here, it should make a perfect curve. Like that. But I'm not going to do that. And instead, what I do is I would go to the next point, and since I know that the curve is going to go down here, I can pull it down here, and then pull it like that, so that it pulls inwards. Okay, and what you do next to, to make a sharp point, you hold the Alt, alt key, so I'm holding it right now, and then that I can manipulate a single handle. So I pull it over here, and then, then I can make my next point over here or something. Essentially, 
if you want your like vector images to look smooth, the less or the fewer points you use, the more smooth it looks. So there's like idiots who just go like, oh, 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 oh. oh let me follow every I'm retarded. No, it's bullshit. Don't do that shit. You don't look like a loser. You don't want to look like a loser. Look at that one fucking handle. Beast in that shit. No big deal. Yeah, so you. Uh, it's hard to see. I should probably make it. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah. That's what I keep on doing. Just pull that alt, or hold that alt key, drag it, and then try to find the right amount. Alt, click, click again, drag, alt, yeah. And obviously it takes a lot of practice. It's not like I, I was born this way, this way popular opinion, you know. See, when you fuck it up like that, if you press A, it'll, it'll choose the direct selection tool, and I can go directly to the, what was it, the handle, and pull it down like that. Alright, it's not perfect, but whatever, it's good enough. And this is your other best friend right here, the Pathfinder. No, oh, it's not important right now, but it will be. And then basically you can flip it over and you're like, you just take a look at it and you're, if you're happy with it, you can continue on. Normally I, I save a copy of this, so Command or Control C, and then I make a, a layer on top. And then Apple F, or Command F, or Control F, or whatever. Okay, so this is probably the key to my, my mysterious magical process, but I don't know what everyone else does, but I like removing shapes from an entire path. So basically what I do is I go in here and go around the lines. So click like that, drag, click, alt, click, and drag. Normally I do this at the end, but for sake of showing you guys, so I'll do it right now. So basically what I do is click the entire outline of the silhouette, so this thing, and then you click the other path, or the, the inside path, and then you go to um, the pathfinder and there's shape modes. The first one is add or unite, the second one is minus front. So I click on minus front, which basically means whatever path is above the the other path, it'll delete it from it. So if I subtract that and I flip this, it just deleted it. Cool. All right. So I'll just keep going. Obviously, I would be a lot more careful if it was like a sweet design or whatever, but. I don't care about you guys. Alright, so I think that's actually pretty much it for the actual line work if I just track that again. Perfect. Oh man. It's kinda ugly. And the, the beauty of uh, the pen tool is that you can keep editing shit like, yeah, like that. That's a, Okay, and then you can just keep on going with the same idea. Alright, so this is the same idea. It's just using a smaller part of it to so outline on the first one, and subtract. Ooh. That means that the path is not in front of like 
like the one you're subtracting from. So just click on it. Command shift bracket or bracket close. Or I don't know. Just I think you can go to object arrange bring to front. Yeah, there you go. I know this isn't the fastest way to do things either, but this is how I like to do it. I just like how you can adjust it and it's really clean looking. Yeah, that's pretty much the key though, just like learn all your tools because you gotta unlock that potential. Like I'm, I use hockeys all day, you gotta learn the hockeys. Alright, so, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, it's perfect. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Um, just practice that shit. Click it, click your next point, and drag. And then you can keep doing that, or you can click or drag and then alt and just do shit like that. Boom. I don't know if this was helpful at all, but whatever. Guys can suck my cock. Look at that face. Oh, whatever. Peace.